So I want to show you some the pictures and we're going to talk about the different instruments and then we're going to listen to the sounds and we're going to hear them by themselves. Although you did hear a little bit um, in that song right there. So let's look at the trumpet. This is a picture of the trumpet. So up here, these are the words, this says brass instruments. So we have a family of instruments that are similar because of the material that they're made out of. This gold metal is called brass. And most of the brass instruments are made out of this kind of metal. Sometimes it will be silver, but in this case, it's definitely brass. And the trumpet has three buttons. And just by pressing down those three buttons in different ways, you can make all kinds of sounds. The trumpet is one of the smaller brass instruments. So the trumpet can make some very high sounds. And the brass family are instruments that tend to be very loud too. So they can cut right through the whole entire orchestra. You can hear those trumpets. Now the way you play the trumpet is by blowing air into this, we call this the mouthpiece. The air is blown in, you press down the buttons and the sound comes out on the bell. This is the bell. This is the trumpet, one of the members, the high, high sounds of the brass family. And we're gonna hear what it sounds like in a few minutes. Now let's look at another instrument. We sang about this instrument in the last song. This is the trombone. The trombone is quite big, so it makes pretty low sounds. It has some high sounds too, but it can go much lower than the trumpet. But the way it makes the sounds, it doesn't have any buttons. You see? It has this thing called a slide. And the slide, you pull out or push back in, and that's how the different notes are made, by moving the slide backwards and forwards, in and out. And the trumpet, I mean, sorry, the trombone is made out of brass, just like the trumpet. All right, you might have seen maybe some trombones in a marching band. Trumpets and trombones are very popular in a marching band. Now I'm gonna show you an instrument that was not in the song. So they didn't sing about this instrument, but this instrument is an important member of the brass family. It belongs to the same family of instruments. And you're gonna see it's gold in color, so it is made out of brass. There it is. And this one is called the French horn. Now this one you might not see in a marching band because you have to sit down to play this instrument most of the time. You sit down, you put it in your lap. It has three buttons. They're over here. I don't know if you can see them. They're right there. They're right there. Just like the, the uh, trumpet. So that's how you make the different notes. All right, and it has a mouthpiece just like the other two instruments, because you in all of these instruments, we're blowing air to make the sound. And then the sound comes up in the bell, and it has a very beautiful sound. It's kind of a mellow, beautiful sound. And it has high notes like the trumpet, but not as high. And it has some lower notes like the trombone, but not as low. So it's kind of in the middle between the trumpet and the trombone. French horn, very popular in an orchestra. And now here's the last group of pictures I'm going to show you. I'm showing you two different kinds of instruments, but I'm going to call them both the tuba right now. So the reason why I'm showing you two different ones is because if, if you were in a marching band, you would probably play the tuba like this. Sometimes I call this the sousaphone because you kind of this with the round thing here, you put it on your body and you can hold it and march with it. This is the kind of tuba you might see in an orchestra because you're sitting down to play it, all right? In both cases, we're blowing air into the mouthpiece again. The sound is coming out the bell and there are three buttons that you would press to make the different sounds. Yes, and the tuba makes the lowest sounds of the brass family and some of the lowest sounds of the entire orchestra. Very low sounds. So let's go back now, and I'm gonna start with the trumpet, and let's hear what it sounds like. Let's hear the voice of the trumpet. Here we go. You 
beautiful. Now the trumpet, the what we just heard, we actually heard more than one trumpet, didn't we? We heard more than one trumpet. Yeah, it's a beautiful sound though. So we had a bunch of trumpets that were playing. We started with one trumpet and then some of them added on. All right, it has a very beautiful sound. It kind of reminds me of a king walking into court and marching down the aisle. Yeah, let's hear the trombone, the sound of the trombone. And they're making that sound by pulling and pushing that slide. Here we go. That was funny. It played a little song. Do you know what song that was? It was Pop Goes the Weasel. Yeah. All right, but that was the sound of the trumpet, uh, trombone. Why do I keep saying that? The trombone. And the trombone, you notice, had a lower sound than the trumpets did, a lower sound. Now we're gonna hear a little bit of the French horn. It has a very mellow sound, all right? It's kind of muted, which means it's quieter, all right? But it has a very beautiful sound. That was French horn. And now, let's hear some oompas of the tuba. Here we go. Oh my, that was a very low sound. A very low sound. Wow. Okay, 